Good afternoon. I'm joined by Italy's Ferruccio Gabba, who has fished the last day of practice on A section. Uh, Ferruccio, the the week started quite well, I believe. Yes. But since yesterday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, the uh, the river has taken a turn for the worse. Yes. Can you sort of just give us a flavour of uh, an idea of how the venue has started off and then gone downhill? Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. In the, the first uh, days of the week. Uh, uh, the condition uh, was totally different uh, now mm -hmm. uh, because uh, on Thursday uh, it's rained a lot mm -hmm. and uh, the, the water came up yeah. and uh, the, the, the color is, is dirty. Yes. And uh, so, cold as co well. yes, cold uh, as maybe well. cold, yes. Yes, it is cold, yes, yes, yes. yes. And uh, so, uh, the, uh, this, um, this day, mm -hmm. the last uh, training day, mm -hmm. uh, we catch only bleak mm -hmm. because uh, the big fish, I, I think. Uh, was very very difficult to catch uh, some big fish. Yeah, yeah, I believe uh, next door to you, uh, Jacopo Falsini, yes. he's had one or two, what we would call good, reasonable fish, decent fish, a couple of catfish, yes. and a small skimmer. Yeah, and that seems to have been one of the best catches. Yeah, of the whole day that uh, that I've heard of. Yeah, the, the whole venue seems to have struggled, and everybody has been really fishing for bleak. And you know we're literally yeah. talking fish this size, aren't <laughs> yes, we? Yeah. Which, which, but the Italians love to catch, don't you? You love to catch these fish. Don't yeah, you? yeah, we we love to uh, yeah. catch uh, bleak. Uh, yeah. I, I think uh, bleak uh, on pole is a mm -hmm. lovely yeah. uh, kind of fishing, yeah. and um, is a technical, it's m very, technical. very technical, and. Um, Maybe that uh, the, if the, the condition uh, remain uh, like uh, today, mm -hmm. maybe will be will be a very good championship. It'll be a good championship. Do you, when you say a good championship, are you referring to one which is open for every team, uh, like there will be all species available, or is it just going to be for those technical teams, for instance, like Italy and France and England, Belgium? Yeah, like, like I, that. I, I think I, I think uh, uh, if if the condition remain uh, like uh, today, yeah. uh, the, the the winner will be one of the the most important uh, teams, teams. Uh, in the world. Mm. I think uh, England, uh, Belgium, France. Uh, I hope Italy. <laughs> well, Italy, Italy certainly over the last uh, couple of years have been doing extremely well in all the internationals. Uh, do you do you feel if if the venue fishes levels out and what the, what the Czech uh, contingents the, the the Czech anglers are saying is they believe the river will fine down that means it will slow down it will clean up and a lot of the cold water will go away that the the championship will become more open. Yes. Do, do yes. You feel it will yes, become yes, more yes, open. Yes. So it could be someone who's sitting. I I think uh, if. Uh, uh, the condition uh, will will be the the, 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 con the normal condition of the of the venue. Yeah. Um, will uh, the, the this world championship uh, will be open uh, from uh, other teams. Uh, I think uh, Poland, uh, Do Deutschland, uh, yeah. uh, maybe uh, Czech Republic. Uh, but uh, if the, 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 the condition will be the 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 fish uh, becomes harder yes yes yeah. uh, I think uh, mm, le, 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 yeah, yeah. less less team uh, maybe the, the the winner when when you were fishing early on in the week Monday Tuesday and Wednesday you you, you were catching you were catching yes. good weights what sort yeah. of weights were coming out t type of fish uh, we we caught um, many brims uh, uh, also on pole uh, and on uh, on waggler and on bolognese. on bolognese, very very good fish. Yeah. Uh, when you say when you say the waggler, you mean the, the slider? Yes, the slider, slider. Yes, and, and then the bolognese six yes. seven meter rods. Yes, as well. yes, yes, yes. So it may well turn out to be uh, the same again come tomorrow and Sunday. Yeah, could be very good. We hope. But the sun, you will notice on camera, yeah. that the sun has actually come out, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is the first time today. Yes, it's been very cold, been a very cold wind. Yeah. The wind has dropped. The river is a nice even pace at the moment. Yeah, uh, but it, the water is still cold. Yeah, I think so. I think 
what we what we would like to see is quite an open venue. Yeah. Uh, the venues, the, the, the actual sections are quite badly spaced out. There's yeah. some big, big gaps. Yeah. Which for the anglers is not a problem, but for the press, yeah. is it's terrible. It's terrible. I, it's I not know. good. It is I, not good. I so we have to try and find. I understand. So, but Ferruccio, thank you very much thank for you. talking to us thank again. You to you. And I wish you the best of luck on Saturday and Sunday. Thank you. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. Mark, the sun is shining. The bells are ringing. Do you think you could give us a brief overview of how the practice week's been for the team? Yes, I can, David. And uh, on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, the sun was out. It was much hotter than this. Mm. And uh, on Monday and Tuesday, we caught quite a lot of bleak and small roach. And we had a good practice session. On Tuesday, we added some bream and skimmers, a few, to the roach and, and bleak, which was going. We thought we'd got plenty of uh, methods to go at. And then on Wednesday, we practiced with uh, bollows and, and sliders. And we ended up catching some bream on them. And we thought, well, this is going to be a really good competition. Mm. And uh, with the thinking angler that, that the England team has got, mm. and so many methods, we thought, well, it's four hours now. We can certainly... <laughs> get a good run at it mm. and then came Thursday and the heavens opened it rained all day the rivers come up uh, and today we've been for a practice which is Friday well Thursday was a washout and um, Friday we've been for a practice today and I think there's been one bream caught and mm, B section the, yes in B section we we've of. been in E today and all I've seen is bleak mm. that's all we've seen is bleak yes and I think today our pegs have uh, been boiling through. We've been on the inside of a bend where the water's coming straight at us and it's just been rubbish. Mm. I mean, bearing in mind the, the irregular nature of the river, what are you hoping for the team this weekend, taking everything into account? Well, first of all, I'd just like to explain that we've been told now that today you needed 70 gram floats. Now we use 50 gram and they're dead right because we're right now to the water, yeah. three quarters of an inch. So tomorrow I've been told that it will go down to 30 gram in some parts, but only 10 gram on other bends of the river. Mm. If you're on an inside bend where it's coming right at you, it'll be 30 gram. And mm. if it's on the outside of a bend, which is much better now because it's not flowing as much, it could be as low as 10 gram mm. flat. So mm. we're looking for that first of all. And personally now, I think that the river's been running since Thursday and the bream haven't fed mm. and they're swimming against a big current now and it mm. might make them hungry. Could do. So yeah. I'm hoping that tomorrow, which is match day, Saturday, yeah. that we're going to go there with bleak in mind for the first hour, at least the first hour, maybe two, to mm. catch two and a half into, from one to two hours, two and a mm. half to three kilo, and then have a look at seven meter, which we've caught some roach, mm. uh, small skimmers and things like that, mm. which isn't a bad method, and then 13 meters, hopefully, if the bream are showing. Mm. But I don't think we'll get away with bollows tomorrow, and I don't have and I don't think we'll get away with sliders. Because Isn't the talk really of the wind switching around? Because oh, at the just, moment it was a downstream wind today, wasn't it? Yeah, well I was just going to say to you, if the wind does turn around and it goes upstream, mm. then the bollow could come in, because then bream seem to like being just past the middle of the river. Right. But, saying that, with the rain coming in, the colours come in, it could be a long pole match tomorrow for mm. bream. Yeah. We're not sure. There was quite interesting today, it was quite noticeable. Uh, I, I had someone check the, the, the temperature of the water, uh, I mean physically with their hand, and it was very cold. And that, that obviously has an adverse effect on, on now, feeding I'm, fish. I must tell you this. Go on. <laughs> that while I've been running the bloodworm off yesterday, first yeah. of all, which was freezing yesterday, yeah. and I know the air temperature, and once you once I got water out of the river, it was so warm you couldn't believe it. Really? Yes, absolutely boiling to run the bloodworm off. Now today, <laughs> you're nearly right, but yeah. it was still warmer this yeah. morning than the air temperature. Right. So when you put your fingers in the water, it still felt warmer, but this afternoon it was the opposite way around because mm. it's warmed up like mad now, as you can see with the sun. Mm. So mm. then all of a sudden, the water does feel cooler. Yeah, but bearing in mind, it's the water, water coming in is going to cold, cold air sinks. 
so oh, cold water sinks. So actually all the cold water that's come down with the rain is likely to be right on the bottom of the river. No, no, that's no? not true on a river this fast. Because, really? Because uh, it's boiling through so it's mixing all the time. Okay, and we did notice that. that on some of the sections actually. It, 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 was, it was mixing and you yes. can see you the can difference see in the two that's colours. Right. You can see the colours. Yeah, it? yeah, definitely. And not all of that, it's coming over a weir upstream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it's going down through the match length. So in the on the weir itself it will be mixing. Right. And yeah. then it goes down through the match length where there's no weir, obviously. Mm. And at the bottom of the match length there's another weir, which only affects us with flow yep. because they lift it or lower it gotcha. with uh, towards you know to compensate mm -hmm. the flow. Yeah. Okay Mark, well I mean finally the team for the first day and where they've drawn. Well the team is unfortunately we've uh, we've had to make Alan reserve, Alan Scott on mm -hmm. because uh, He's had a bad draw this week each day, he's just been yeah. on rubbish pegs with snags and everything and mm. everyone knows how good Alan is, yeah. well this week uh, he's not done the business and he accepts it, instantly accepts it. Yeah. So on A section we've got Stuart Conroy, yep. on B section Will Raisin, on C section Steve Gardner, on D section is Ch uh, Sean mm -hmm. and on E is Death Ship. Now mm. E is where we fish today and it's been really difficult, Yeah. so yeah. I'm hoping that Des can catch more bleak in a better peg than he's been. He's had a key. He's had two kilo, one hundred today. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it's been really rubbish fishing. So yeah. with a better draw, maybe maybe three, four kilo. And again, a difference in the river could make a big yes. difference as yes, well. So definitely. Yeah. Okay, Mark. Well, well, thanks very much, Mark. Uh, obviously, Mark's Mark's been in stuck in a, a section of course my cameraman at the moment has positioned his camera right in front of the sun so <laughs> what i what what i'd like to do is is just give you a brief overview of, of what i've seen going through because i've i've viewed all the sections it was very apparent from walking on every section that mark confirms out what mark has said is that the whole day has been a bleak bashing exercise uh, we found the Italians in A section seem to have done the best, the better of any team in their box, box three. Uh, but of course, when it comes to the draw tomorrow, the Italians won't all be sitting together. But the weights they had today were up to four, four and a half kilos. There were a couple of catfish caught by Falsini, and he also had a skimmer. And they also had, you know, obviously the rest of it was made up of, uh, of good uh, bleak sprats. So. I, I, I'm hoping, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a bit like Mark, I'm a little bit confident that tomorrow we'll see a, to, uh, a, a different situation, hopefully change, and that the big fish will come into play, the wind will change around, the water will be slightly warmer, not so murky, and some of the better fish will feed. Then it's going to be a hell of a tournament if that happens. If it doesn't, and it becomes a bleak bashing match, we are likely to see a handful of teams, the best technical teams, do well because, to be perfectly honest, perhaps two, third of, two thirds of the field uh, cannot compete with the other third of the field when it comes to bleak bashing. So they're going to need an even a level playing field. And if that's the case, it should be a great contest in that event. So hopefully tomorrow evening we'll bring you some uh, good news of the venue fishing and also good news of uh, England's progress. Uh, so until then, it's uh, good evening and we'll speak to you tomorrow. <laughs>